variety of elements have been added to the game, now reimagined with brand new visuals. Let's take a look at them one by one, from the field and the battles to the in-game system. Players can travel through a vast field with their party. Castles and mountains that appear as you rotate the camera will lead you to the next adventure. Dialogues with your party pop up when you're exploring the field. The dialogues will appear in the menu screen as well and inform you of the next destination and other information. This will give you a more realistic sense of being on a journey with your party. This game adapts symbol and counter system. It is up to you whether you advance, avoiding enemies, or defeat them all. In addition, enemy leak may occur, caused as a result of being chased by a group of multiple enemies. If you start a battle in the state, you will have a series of battles with as many groups of enemies as you encountered at once. The ratio of experience and fall will increase accordingly. This will be the key to efficient leveling. Unique spots scattered throughout the world are places of interest unique to the area. If you find them, you will receive items and experience, although some spots are difficult to find. Check out the world at every turn during your journey. On the field, powerful enemies called raid enemies appear. If you can defeat them, you will get powerful items and weapons. However, the enemies are quite formidable. It is better to challenge them after you've mastered your skills. In addition, a new activity is introduced in this game, fishing. It is now possible to fish at various waterfronts. Fish caught can be recorded in the fish encyclopedia. It can also be exchanged for valuable items. Travel in search of the legendary giants as you fill out the fish encyclopedia. Be careful. It might not just be fish that you catch. Make battles more strategic and more exhilarating. The just counter is triggered when you make a well-timed back step when the enemy attacks. It lets you instantly get behind the enemy and attack. At the same time, MP is recovered. The attack from behind is powerful, but it won't make you invincible after the move, so you need to be careful when using it. A new element called Shield Value is introduced for enemies. When reduced to zero by your attacks, the enemy enters a break state and all attacks become critical hits. The large leader enemy who appears from time to time is a powerful enemy with effects that put players at a disadvantage. However, when a break occurs, a break effect is activated. The break state is linked to nearby enemies. The more trains there are, the more damage that is inflicted, so be sure to make use of this during battles. Attacking an enemy in a break state or defeating an enemy also accumulates a bonus gauge. There are three levels of gauges, and the more they accumulate, the more favorable effects they can bring to the party, such as increased attack power or maximizing item effects. However, the bonus gauge returns to zero when the character being played breaks. So be sure to fight well while maintaining the gauge. In addition, the effects can be switched by changing the battle formation. The battle formation is obtained during the course of gameplay. Find the formation that best suits your party and your fighting style to gain an advantage in battle. After making some progress in the story, you'll be able to have follow-up attacks from party members outside the battlefield. This is called Assault Action. Each Assault Action can be set on each directional button. Pressing one of the buttons while the gauge is full will activate a preset character skill. Following a battle member's attack, you can unleash a series of large magic attacks or set a healer that uses healing symbology for use in an emergency. You will be able to create your own fighting style with a combination of party and skills. Note that there may be some characters that appear only in assault action. The system has been updated to be more sophisticated and comfortable. Item creation, a familiar feature of the series, makes it possible to add additional effects called factors 
when creating items. For example, a weapon with a factor that requires less consumption of MP, while others may create one with a factor that allows for HP recovery in critical conditions, making it possible to keep fighting without worrying about HP recovery. Creating powerful weapons and armor requires a character to have high skill levels. Create new combinations of items as you grow your characters. You can use battle points and skill points which you obtain at the end of a battle or when you level up to enhance your character's skill in a variety of ways. Battle points strengthen battle skills, special arts and symbology, increasing hit points and damage dealt. Use skill points to strengthen special skills that enhance characters, status and item creation levels. In town, you can switch to private action at any time by pressing a particular button. In this mode, side quests that are not told in the main storyline occur and more in-depth episodes with your party will unfold. By experiencing private actions, the friendship level with other characters changes. It will have a significant impact on the ending. There are also a wide variety of other missions to complete the guide map has been updated to be easier to read, and fast travel has been added for a more comfortable gameplay experience. Furthermore, this game features new voice recordings with original cast, and the voices from the second evolution. Kurodo C. Kenny, this. Yoroshiku. Kurodo C. Kenny, this. Yoroshiku. During gameplay, you can select which voice to use on a character by character basis. Now is everything sparkles anew. It's time to embark on this galactic journey full of adventures. Star Ocean the Second Story R. Coming November 2nd. Demo available now.